All right, so I am here with Pete Parsons, the COO of Bungie. Pete, it's so good to see you. Well, it's very exciting to be here, Bruce. Oh. Thanks for having me. Uh, of, of course, and uh, we should probably get right to it because okay, everybody, everybody's really excited about this. Destiny. Yeah, you um, heard of it? I, you know, I have it. I just, I just kind of briefly, just kind of passing in and out of my. So last night, uh, I was so excited because I didn't get to watch it live on the PS4 press conference. But I, I, I went home. First thing I did, straight to get straight to YouTube. The gameplay, the gameplay. Good that's, to hear. That's what I wanted to see. That's, that's what, what I wanted, we wanted to, see. to show. So, so here it is. Um, and I've got a bunch of questions on Twitter. I got a bunch of questions just in terms of uh, how social works, yeah. how single player versus multiplayer works. So yep. if we'll just jump right into it, that's all right with you. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So. Uh, one of my first questions is, uh, in terms of single player narrative and yeah. multiplayer, are they two separate kinds of the, are they, are they you know, parts of this game or are they all put together? How's that working? Yeah, well, one of the things we like to say is that Destiny is not a DVD you put in your drive. It's actually a place that you, you visit. Okay, yeah. And so for us, what, what does that mean? Well, that means you're going to get to be a guardian of the last city. You're going to get to build and grow your character or characters over a long time. Right. But we also want to make sure that we're giving you great story campaign narrative-like play. If you want to play by yourself or just play with some, a few friends, you're going to be able to have that experience. If you like competitive PvP or multiplayer, right. you're going to have that too. But the thing that we've done is that we've joined them together. Okay. So that I can go off on my own great narrative story, but then I come out in something like a public space. Right. What's, what's going on in that public space? Well, if I just choose to keep going on and have my my great narrative by myself, I'm, I can continue on that yeah. that path, but I'm going to encounter people who are just coming from multiplayer, who might be going off into a raid, sure. right? And then all of us join together when, I think you saw what happened in the, in the demo last night, yes. some big event happens, and all of a sudden, if we choose, we can all join together yeah, well to that, take on a common foe. I saw a lot of a lot of questions on Twitter uh, about the public events, yeah. and because that's, that's what happened in that gameplay, is that it just sort of it just appeared, you know, like the, the whole world was affected and all of a sudden there's this huge, huge thing happening right, right. next to you. Um, is that something that you don't have to necessarily jump into it, it's just there and you just, and then you can go go to it or not? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, it, it, it's, it is exactly that. Okay. You know, I think there are a lot of people who play, they just like a campaign experience. They just want great story, yeah. they want great cinematics, right. great characters. Um, and we, we're going to give that to you. But I think a lot of times they might be intimidated by something like really intense PvP. I know I am sometimes. Yeah. So if we can give you a space where you can kind of just jump in and help out and get a reward for it, right. and like get a reward because we all did it together, like that that that's super exciting. I think it's super exciting for players. It's super exciting for us. Um, I mean, we like it, it's actually kind of even surprised us when we started playing in the studio sure. and just realized how much time we were spending of course. in those spaces, just having a good time. Yeah. So, um, a question about loot drops. Yeah. Uh, for, for example, a public event, everybody kind of joins in, brings down this huge foe. Uh, how do the loot drops work? Is it are you fighting over loot, or how does that go? Yeah. So it's it's really important to us that you have an experience that's all your own. That you're about building your legend, and that you're only having this sort of competitive play when we, you know, when you want to go right. have competitive play. What we don't want you doing because it's antisocial. Yeah. Uh, we want to bring people together. Of course. So because of that, we have private loot drops so that what's dropping is meant for you okay uh, which is which is exciting so that means that you know you and I can go off on an adventure uh, and you're getting something that you like uh, I'm getting something that I, I right. like and we're having fun doing it together right right so and uh, I want to touch ba uh, back on the single player yep. and multiplayer narrative because uh, it sounds like you guys have tied in a lot of the old Republic into that because the old Republic sort of tried to do a single player campaign along with multiplayer and you're also tying in a little bit of Borderlands too along with all the loot drops and it, and it seems like you're combining all of these things and what looks like to me a seamless experience and I, was that always kind of your goal was to get multiplayer and single player together yeah so I would say that for us this is just a next evolution of right. what we've been working on for a long long time like this this has absolutely been a goal of ours which is wouldn't it be great if we could bring these worlds together wouldn't it be great if I could actually go back to some of this wonderful content and and, and there's a reason to return right, right. like there's right. there's not only a reason to return by myself but there's a, a, a way I can bring my friends and show them the, these great places that I've been, but we all we all get something for it. Of course. And so, yeah, I think we think a lot less about, you know, the great work that the Borderlands team has done or the old Republic have done, course, and yeah. a lot more about this is our next big evolutionary step for I agree. us in shooters. No, I, I completely yeah. agree, and I, I think that you guys are definitely on the right path. Thanks. It, yeah. it looks like it. Um, I also got some questions about the uh, the human or the um, was it humans awoken or awoken and EXO? How do yes. you say that? Uh, there's the Awoken, the, the Awoken. Exo, okay. and then the and Humanity. And those are the three races, right? That's correct. And then, and then the there three, are three, the three classes, classes right? So you have the Hunter, the Warlock, 
yeah. and the Titan. So okay. uh, in all of those, you're working on, on growing your build. So over time, you're collecting new armor, new weapons, right. new upgrades. And so right now, what we're seeing on screen is, is uh, is this a human going through the uh, a human uh, hunter or a human titan or how does that work? Uh, right. So uh, the character on screen on screen right now is a, uh, I believe it's an awoken warlock. It's an awoken. Oh, it's warlock. an awoken warlock. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. And so that's why he's kind of using the. Uh, is it telekinesis? Is that what he's using? That's correct. Yeah. Right. As well as the. So, uh, um, I mean, what looks like a badass, you know, magnum is, is uh, really what. Yeah. So that I mean, that's the exciting part is we've had this. this uh, really uh, extensive set of weapons that you can continue yeah. to build, grow, and upgrade, and make really great choices about the kind of weapons you want, right. uh, and the kind of armor, and how you're ultimately going to play your character, which is fun. So and you're just seeing a hint of that uh, right now. OK, all right. And so th this is kind of the, the weapon crafting system Yeah, so here. this is an exotic weapon. So that's one of the exciting things, is right. you're not going to just have this great range of weapons, but you will have, when you're up against some of the more serious uh, uh, combatants in our game, Sure. Uh, you'll end up coming against, and some every now and then they'll drop something that's really rare, of course, really special. Oh, of course, they yeah. better, yeah, or else always. I know. <laughs> so. um, also, uh, at this point in the game, I, I mean, like, just briefly give an overview of the story, and then how this uh, environment we're seeing on screen right now, how that fits into the story. Can you do that? Yeah. Well, this is actually part of uh, part of old Russia. It's in, a, it's oh, in our okay. cosmodrome. It's All actually right. where, in the, during the fall of humanity, many people tried to escape on on those large colony ships that you see in right. the background. Right. And so, uh, this has been long been a forbidden zone. Okay. Uh, really, the only safe place on Earth right now is the last city that right. sits underneath the traveler. The traveler, right? Everywhere else. Uh, is filled with uh, you know mystery and adventure and aliens and it danger looks like. and lo always lots of aliens yeah. to shoot and that that's actually an important part of what we're doing. It was exciting to sit back with Destiny and say, well, where do we want to put you? Like, and, and we thought the solar system was a great place because it's a place we all know, a place we're all interested in. Right. Uh, and we kind of root you in the familiar, so then we can throw a whole bunch of crazy <laughs> stuff at you. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. Which is what Bungie always does. Well, that's, our, that. that's, that's our goal, I mean, yeah. to, be, to, to keep it r really interesting and fun, and yet at the same time, like, hopeful. Like, like we want this to be, even though mankind's taken a big blow, like, we want this to be a hopeful, right. fun, and exciting place to just go and play with your friends. Well, the environments look really vibrant. It's not all kind of drab and like sad. Yeah. I, I like that it, there's a combination of both. So, well, I, well, so th that is, uh, I have the uh, rare fortune to work with over 400 of some of the most talented people ever. Uh, and I, I like on, honestly, I walk through every day at work. I walk through our. We have this big open floor, and it just blows my mind. And which, whether whether you're an artist, a designer, you're in test, IT. I mean, we just, it's unbelievable the amount of talent we have, and, and we've been able to pull this off. It's so. really coming through in the game. Thank you. It really yeah. is. Um, it's I, been a long time. We've been working on I, it for I know a long you have. time already. I know you have. So, just one thing that happened just a few seconds ago yep. in the gameplay. There was a ship that came down, and it knocked over those skyscrapers. Is yep. that part of the world over there that he knocked over? Or is oh, that... Yeah, that's all, that, that's actually all, all part of the world. And he was, those are big colony ships that are knocking over. And even if... Uh, it will probably come out later in E3, even when the Guardian first got off right. of the shuttle in the beginning. Yeah. If you just turn around, like there's a whole vista beyond. So and that's all at, interactive. Like that's all part at, of the world. Even at the show today, we'll, we'll uh, show our, what what happens on the other side of uh, of this world. Oh, it's so, so cool. So it's 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 uh, it's it's it is a big it is a big world. But uh, we're, we we want to focus on making sure that you know this isn't. Uh, this is a shooter, and we're going to design yeah. it to be filled with action. So we're going to really focus you on making sure that we're giving you a great moment-to-moment -moment experience, and you're never sort of just out wandering. And that, that's not the experience that we want to create. Right. We want. I was going to say we're seeing a public event right now. Yeah, this is a public event that's happening. So public events. I could have just walked through and gone on my own way. Sure. Uh, if sure. I was if I was continuing on my campaign narrative, but I would have been looking at what's going off yeah, to the left gotta, of me. Could I avoid in. that? No. I see, you got to join in on that. Yeah, you and I'm going to get a reward for it. And so everybody knows that's going to happen. This is you saw in the demo. The sky darkens. Yeah. Huge explosion. Oh, something so like cool. a catch flies through. Whatever that. Whatever happens. Right. Uh, it'll be a big moment to join people together. So how do the public event? integrate with uh, the mobile app that we saw on the Vidoc. So like, the, is, that, is that like, can your friend send you a text and be like, hey, you got to jump on because this is happening or how does that work? Yeah, I mean, so uh, we've been doing uh, experiences outside of, uh, of games since sure. uh, Bungie.net with Halo 2 in yes. 2004. Yeah. We think that's a, you know, we, something, uh, well, our community is really uh, important to us. And so over the years, we've been able to give them a lot of great features, whether it's you know communication or groups or file shares or uh, 
screenshots, you name it. Right, right. We think there's a huge next step forward, which is to create meaningful experiences on those devices that allow you to communicate with the game world uh, or to do meaningful things outside of it that you could only do on those devices. Oh, okay, all right. And so, not a, not a bunch to say right now, but we have a sure. lot of ideas around, hey, what are, what are meaningful things I could do right. uh, by myself or with my friends that could then pay off within, within the game world itself. Cool. So we're spending a ton of time thinking about exactly what that's going to be All right, that's I like the like. smirk on your face. Yeah, I so like that. have fun. Um, and then one last question I saw on Twitter is, yep. uh, uh, there's a lot of spaceships I keep seeing. Uh, yes. Are we going to be able to fly those spaceships? Not a ton to talk about, but I, we, do, ah. we, do, we, we do say that there is this great property of you know, moving through the solar system like is like space boy, like it's the it's the stuff that it, you always uh, dream of. Right. And so I think we'll have a lot to. Oh talk about. man, I really come on, In come the on, Pete. To come. come on, Pete. You, yeah. you heard it here first. <laughs> I want it. I want it. All right. And the, one last question, just uh, yeah, only for me. Um, I'm primarily a PC gamer. Sure. And uh, I, we've heard Xbox One, we've heard PS4, and yep. we've heard the current gen systems as well. But we've not heard anything about PC. So what's no, happening? Haven't. What's well, going on? Right now we're focused on the four. Four consoles is a lot. Okay, uh, I, true. But I think true. the thing we said, you know, we all we all play uh, all kinds of games, console right. games, PC games, mobile games, you name it. Uh, that they're all our passion, and this uh, Destiny is a, a passion project for us, among uh, other things. Right. And we'd like to be anywhere we can. Right now, we're going to focus on the consoles and. Yeah, we'll talk about that's okay. No, that's all, you're allowed. You're allowed to focus wherever you want. Yeah. I, I trust you implicitly. Great. So that, that's okay. Um, all right. So I think we're going to go over to Twitter. Actually, if you don't okay. mind sticking around for sure. a, a question or two yeah. uh, from Twitter. Hey, hey, Sark and APL, you guys there? Okay, What's good. What's up, dude? All right. So, so, do you have a question for Pete from Twitter about Destiny? Yeah, we have. Uh, we have give or take probably seventy nine thousand yeah, questions. Yeah, I figured there are a lot of them. There's all a right. lot. Uh, People are excited. Uh, first up got. here, Kevakazi asks. Uh, Destiny question, will we see custom camos, reticles, and sights for our weapons in Destiny? Did you hear that? I, I Okay, so uh, will we see like custom reticles, camos, just basically customization of weapons in Destiny? Uh, we're going to make sure that there is a, uh, you know, making sure that there's lots of customization is really important to I, us. I assume. Okay, yes. He says yes. Well, if you're going to build a character <laughs> over time, you want it to be yours. And not only that, once you spend time building it, you want to be able to take it wherever Destiny has to offer, right? right. So you want to be able to take that, that build anywhere. That, anywhere in that world. Right. Uh, that was a very positive response, Sark. That Thank was a very, you. A very Thank positive. You. Do you have any more questions for Pete? Yeah, you want this yeah, one, APL? Yeah, I have the next one. All right, so I Nocturne on Twitter is asking, will Destiny have theater mode? Oh, okay, all right. Well, uh, will Destiny have question. theater mode? Uh, we are not talking about that feature yet. Okay, all right. They, they are not talking about that feature yet, but Okay. He I like this. He said okay. it with a smirk on his face. See, so this think, is, it's fun yeah. because this we can hide behind the fans. They right. let them do all the dirty journalism, and we're just like, I don't know, it's the uh, internet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got another one here. Yeah, let's do it. Kyle, AVFC18, whatever. He asks, <laughs> how big is the Destiny world? Oh, man, all right. So how big is the Destiny world? If you can quantify it. Um, well, it's, pre it's, it's pretty big, but it, it's, it's uh, so each of our destinations, uh, each of our destinations, if you take a, a Halo game, is probably, depends, you know, uh, up to two-thirds of the size of, like, Halo Reach. Right, right. 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 So okay. there, it's, it, it, these are pretty big worlds. I, I think the thing that we are doing is making sure that that play experience, though, is yeah. really focused. For us, it's a lot less about how big is this place, sure. a lot more about what is that moment-to-moment experience like and what are the activities that we're going to give you inside that world right inside um, the city or outside the city yep gotcha um so i think we got time for one more question if uh, if you still want to hit them up i was really hoping he would say it's bigger than vice city san yeah. andreas red dead redemption and gta 5 all, all at the same yeah. i don't know if he knows that but uh i'll <laughs> i'll tell him um all right apl you you take care of my light work sure here. all right so our me music 13 says will there be more classes in the future for destiny and how does Bungie see DLC for the game? Oh, gotcha. Okay, in that's general, that's a good question. Um, will there be more classes than the first three, uh, kind of coming in the future? And how do you see DLC playing out for Destiny? Nothing I can uh, uh, tell you about, but you know, it, it, it is a if you're going to make a persistent world, right? And you're going to grow your character over time, and the world is going to grow over time. I think there's many adventures await inside I, the Destiny universe. I, yeah, no, it's, it's one of those things. It's, it's positive response again. Pete's yes. a really nice guy over I here. I love him. Wow. He's Good really, job, really nice. Twitter. Yeah, so, Twitter really Michael, digging Thank you again. Cool. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate I really it, man. appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hey there, I got some free time for E3. Good. 
Starting on June 11th to the 13th, tune in for our 24-hour E3 coverage featuring the latest gameplay, hardware, and trailers from the biggest gaming convention of the year. Catch it all on your phone, tablet, computer, or other rectangular viewing device right here at Machinima or on your 360 with our patented Machinima app. Patent pending. <laughs>